It's the 16th of August. This is your Solana debrief and crypto debrief. Let's dive in. It's going to be a little bit of a, a quick one today. So Bitcoin down a little bit, ETH down a little bit, everything's down a little bit. Solana, our precious Solana is down a little bit as well. So not doing uh, too well in the markets, but this is just a, the kind of the choppy period. Let's go through a little bit of Bitcoin news because I think this is quite relevant. So Jamie Coots, I don't know who this person is, but I have heard the name Jamie before. And then I realized looking into them, they are chief crypto analysts at Real Vision. Real Vision is Raul Paul's company. And these guys are very good generally with their, their takes on, on crypto and such. So this basically shows all the way back to 2014 and to now what happens when the US dollar loses strength. It will lose strength typically by just printing money, of course. We, of course, as soon as it starts to lose strength, then people don't hold as many bonds, treasury bonds and such, and they put into more speculative assets. So 2017, this same thing happened during this major pump, major pump in the cycle. Same thing happened in 2020, of course, insane. And this is where we are here. You can see each time when support starts to fail, like it starts to drop through support, it's perfectly in correlation. So here's our support. It's coming down. It will break through at some time pretty soon. They'll print more and more money. And then we have the green light. So everything's about just being patient. Next bit of news. Of course, we are in a debt-based system. I know we cover these sort of things all the time. It's just a nice reminder when all of our bags look, you know, they don't look very good. So specifically, global money supply. Global money, as this goes up and up, and it will go up and again, Bitcoin will start to, to go up. So globally, in 2020, like the amount, it was just like 10 trillion or something insane. Well, it was even more. This is global. When when this goes up, we go up. We've got an election coming and this will go up. The price of US dollars, inflation will happen. This will rocket up. Exactly where? I don't know, maybe like 120, 140,000. But the other altcoins, they will follow. So just keeping everyone on their toes to be patient. This is not the time to be leveraging up or even shorting. This is just a chop period. This here is a little bit more in tune with the X markets. So SPX markets, we're looking at the S&P 500. And this is essentially just, it, it goes up and up and up and it has its dips, right? It has its crashes and it goes up and up and up. These are stocks. This is the S&P 500. It's a stock market index tracking the stock performance of 500 of the largest companies listed on the stock exchange in the United States. So coming back here. So this is S&P in yellow. And then this is Bitcoin. And the point that Ben Cohen makes, and Ben Cohen, by the way, he thinks we are in the 2019 cycle, as in Bitcoin pumped up a little bit, and then it came on down and relaxed, and then everything started to hit the following year. And that could be certainly a, a possibility. I initially thought that we were going to probably go harder and harder and harder, and then kind of meet, meet most of our peaks come next year, like July. And now I'm thinking, no, we can go all the way to December. But the point is, we can, like, if you just follow this market, we can deviate. We're not just bound by it. We do follow, it goes up, we go up. We do follow, but we can have small deviations. Not putting too much emphasis on this, but if you start to see the S do well and we don't, it has happened before. Now a little bit of a BTC update from Trader Cause. This is a good trader. And literally, there are probably not, there are probably not a lot of people that do leverage on this channel, that are watching this channel. Hopefully not but picking and choosing my spots carefully and staying patient. It's just literally just spot trading at this point. Otherwise, you're going to get slaughtered. Sol, however, still, I'm a spot kind of person. It's been weaker recently, but pulling back into daily demand now, would like to see a low form somewhere in this region. So this is 27 to 130. You may want to go and put some bids here. Remember, in our 10K to 100K challenge, we've got bids at random points that probably won't hit. But if we start to break out way past the point where we think we're going to dip down, we can always just remove that liquidity and use it somewhere else. But if it breaks down there, we'd probably bounce pretty high and we'd be pretty happy. Circle has minted 250 million USDC on Solana again, five hours ago. When this happens, we've like every single time we've seen more liquidity come into the markets. Every single time, I think every single time. Four and a half billion has been minted since April 2nd. This is not a crazy amount of liquidity. Like if it was a million put onto this or 150 million, I'd be a bit more like, this is pretty cool. But even so, a quarter of a billion dollars, that's decent. Now, just a reminder, everyone should be following the Solana calendar. They should be having it booked. But the Drift airdrop claim deadline ends August 16th. I was still going through Lulo accounts last night, early hours this morning, finding 100 Drift in them. 100 Drift is $30. Do this before 6 p.m. You can use a link to go and check 
them, although they're not going to show up your Lulo account. So, so what you can do instead is you can go to sonar.watch and I'll just show it to you with a, a wallet like this, sonar.watch, plug it in. You can even create like full on like 10 addresses in a portfolio. And then this is so good. It's, this is probably not the best address to check because we may not have funds in Lulo, but it's so good that it shows you where money is. So like, I need to get rid of this, right? Just useless. Lulo. And then we can jump into this by clicking here. And then we can see if we have a drift allocation because this is a relatively new account. I'm fairly sure that we don't, but we could do. We go to rewards and not eligible. Easy. So make sure you do that. This is the countdown. Four hours, 52 minutes. Unclaimed supply. It's around 30 cents a token and it's five and a half million. So this is just uh, worth getting yours, to be honest. More community news. PYUSD incentives have been increased to a million dollars per week. So a couple of people have asked about this. They've asked me, is PYUSD safe? Because if you go to jupe.ag, you see that it has like a disclaimer. And my opinion is yes, we have this 0% tax and authority warning. You have a similar thing with USDC and USDT. Essentially, these are centralized so they can go and freeze a random person's address, as far as I'm aware. Circle has to be able to do that in case, you know, they're under the Federal Reserve kind of, well, they're under the US system. So if if something's known to be in money laundering, they can go and freeze that. With PYUSD, I guess I've used a new token standard where they can do that. The only reason why I think they would do this, if it was legitimately connected to terrorism, trafficking, like it was, it's not going to be a random thing that they do. Because if they do that, they really do hurt the entire market and the fact that they are able to grow significantly. And remember, all they have to do is hold US dollars in their bank accounts like USDC, earn 4% or in this coming cycle, probably more in treasury bonds. And then they're earning hundreds of millions of dollars, potentially at least tens of millions of dollars a year, and then just put it on the blockchain. So would they, would they take that away from you? I don't think so. You've also got eighteen thousand dollars worth of daily PYUSD rewards in Drift. They're not as good. They're not as juicy, but they're not bad. Like Drift, uh, like it's still worth worth doing. Of course, you've got like a billion dollars worth of TVL in Camino, something around that, and three hundred in Drift. Drift is doing better and better. For context, with Drift, I would say they smooth brain some things in terms of like marketing. And I chatted with like their founder, and I just said these are things which I think like were done pretty poorly. And I think he agreed. And I've just seen some big improvements. Obviously, it takes a team to make improvements, but I do I do like Drift. I would be betting on Drift. It's harder for Zeta Markets and Flash Trade to start to eat into their competition when they're starting to do so many things well and the UI works. We've got some more news here from Bonk or some news from Bonk. Bonk is my favorite meme coin. Nothing, of course, is financial advice. I do think this dog will outperform everyone else in terms of uh, higher market cap return. So it's like $1.1 billion market cap now. Maybe that hits six to ten billion dollars. Coming down, we can see they are now a partner, official presenting partner for Baseball United, which is a Dubai-based baseball team, which is cool, or a baseball league focused in Middle East and South Asia. Something like this is not going to get massive eyes in, in the US, but you know, there is there's more to the world than the US. And I think this is really, really good what they're doing. Fabiano has done a really good thread on the planetary call. So we're going to take you through all of this. There will be people, and I'm very happy to hear other people's opinions in, in chatting with different interns, interns for like the interviews. People had different opinions on Jupe. I think Jupe is doing so many things right. It's only a matter of time before like it's the biggest perp sticks. It's It has like 99% of all swap volume on Solana going through there. And then the launch pad will be better and better. But in the meantime, they ship so many things that sometimes things break. So we should probably go over a few things. So the agenda, this was just a chapter between cash and meow, essentially. So we've got three things, Jupe token, Jupe community, Jupe platform. The Jupe platform is all about Ape, which of course can be improved. This is where you jump into meme coins. Meme coins have product market fit, but this is hard. Most people get rugged, et cetera. LFG, which works very well, but the tokens have gone down in price. All of them, other than I think Jupe. And this is mostly because of the fact that with LFG, like we're, we're still in this early stage of the market. We've got active staking rewards and we've got uh, certainty alignment and transparency launch. So where you can launch a token and you can have that built into the smart contract. You can see what's going on. Now the fees, there was a lot of FUD on the fees. I think we've already cleared this, but basically if you do a swap, there are no fees. I've had a smart person, I won't say their name, that was like, surely, surely there must. 
It's like you can see it on the blockchain. How they take a fee is if from Soulflare or Phantom or back, I think Backpack, all of the people that actually charge you a fee and Soulflare is like 0.8% if you use it in their wallet. And this is the lowest one that I'm aware of. If you come in here, if I went and swapped blah to blah, which I don't want to do at this price, maybe like this, then they're going to take 0.8% of this. So we lo lose a small amount. And then from there, 0.25%, I believe, of that swap volume goes to Jupiter or something really minor. Where they do make fees is DCA limit orders and perps. So all these things need to work really well. And unfortunately, they were not. I'm not a big fan of dynamic slippage. It's just not purely ready yet. I think quite often you can get, a bu get by with 0.1% and then change it if you need to, but it is an option for you. Essentially, though, um, the FUD was on the fact that like not, not everything was firing well on DCAs and limit orders. And this was because they have an open API. API was getting abused and that there wasn't enough compute power to make sure that that worked well. These problems here, they happen to everyone. Like, for example, Phantom's entire wallet didn't show anyone's tokens for 10 hours or something. These, these are big problems. And it's just because demand increases and you need to scale with that demand. We'll go, we'll go through these next things very quickly. Chatting on WPTC at present, I believe it's, it's like due to the custodial thing, it's, it's okay. But any other viable options could be swapped out into the JLP price. And then everything else we, we're, I'm pretty sure we're familiar with. Just the supply burn, 30%. And also Jupe Community LFG Launchpad undergoing changes following the launch of DBridge. It'll be more open and permissionless. Indi uh, initiating a new token launchpad meta. So essentially, maybe like a bit of a competitor to like pump.pump. That's all for that. Now, I've done a decent video. It's been edited and it will go out. It wasn't suitable for a live stream on Simon's Cat. I've spoken about this a few times. I have no affiliation with this project. Bonk Guy has major conviction on meme coins. It's done very well for him in terms of profitability, and he's properly decent. I would love to speak to him. I'd love to have him actually follow me. So maybe if you know the guy, ask him to follow me. We can have a DM chat. But I've made a video on this. I would say this is my biggest conviction. New meme coin play at present. I'm personally going to allocate maybe like $8,000 or so trying to actually get this, mostly via the launch pad. So you can read this if you like. Uh, and if you don't know about Simon's Cat, I, I mean, I'm new to it. Like they have, they have IP. They have IP. And I think this is an absolute uh, gold mine. So watch that video. Uh, the other thing is, remember, check out the Solana crypto calendar so you don't miss anything. The FTX stuff, uh, the election deadlines, 8 p.m. UTC tonight. So sorry, this is 8 p.m. UTC. Yep. So 9 p.m. my time. So please don't forget this. Now, Let's go through some actionables. Deadline to claim drift. We know this. It's today, 6 p.m. UTC. FTX official liquidation claim. It's just an election deadline as far as I'm aware. I don't have too much information on this. These things are unnecessarily bureaucratic. Remember the Jito Solon PYUSD vault on a Camino. It's printing. I think this is worthwhile. PYUSD lend on Camino. I'm probably going to move completely out of USDC and go straight into PYUSD. It just makes too much sense. Drift, it's, it's, it's printing as well. Remove liquidity from a clone.so. And watch my video on Simon's Cat later today. I really think Simon's Cat video is worthwhile, like probably worthwhile. Remember met points, if things are too hard to use Meteora just with DLMMs, and they are, they require quite a bit of time and budgeting, like just leveling up your skills, then just go with like Judo Soul, Soul Meteor Pool for starters. Join Renzo's Easy Soul waitlist, I mentioned in yesterday's video, claim the drift tokens as mentioned, get $100 worth of Flocky on BNB if you're keen. I grabbed $200 today and remember play Hamster Combat for five minutes every day. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, watch the Simon's cat meme video later today.